Once that diagnosis is made, what does treatment consist of? Treatment in the mare and in the stallion is based on combination of scrubbing with um, an antiseptic, and we're talking about, in the case of the stallion, the external genitalia with focus on those sites where we know the organism has a predilection for the urethral fossa, the urethral sinus or diverticulum, and also the external surface of the penis and the sheath. So they are cleansed, disinfected, so to speak, using a particular um, antiseptic chlorhexidine is commonly used, anything from 2 to 4% concentration. And then the external genitalia are, if you like, anointed or packed with a specific micro antimicrobials. In some cases, and traditionally, nitrofurazone ointment was used, but additional to that now, silvadine ointment has also been used as an alternative therapy. It really doesn't matter because the causal bacterium of CEM is widely susceptible to many, many antimicrobials. These two have been shown to be successful in eliminating or cleansing or, el or getting rid of this organ where it's a contaminant in the external genitalia, the stallion. The case of the mare, it's somewhat similar, except the concentration, the focus is on the terminal or distal reproductive tract, specifically the clitoral fossa, the clitoral sinuses in the mare. They basically need to be, again, cleansed. Any contaminating material in terms of debris, smegma type material have to be um, got rid of through scrubbing, and then those areas again have to be packed, it's similar to the stallion, um, with antimicrobial ointments such as nitrous furazone ointment or indeed silvadine ointment, but it's usually nitrofurazone. Um, additionally, um, in the case of the mare and even in the case of the stallion, sometimes it requires systemic antimicrobial treatment to finally eliminate or uh, get rid of this organism from the reproductive tract of the stallion or the mare, as the case might be. Um, the vast majority of cases, one course of treatment is adequate. In some instances, it requires two and perhaps even three courses of treatment before the organism is finally eliminated. Important thing to emphasize is that this is a treatable disease. You can successfully eliminate the carrier state in either the mare or in the case of the stallion. Mm -hmm. As the situation develops, if people want more information, where can they find some resources online? There are various reviews of contagious heat biometritis or CEM in the scientific literature, but if you're looking for a very good, very inclusive, comprehensive review that's um, interpretable or readily intelligible by uh, horse owner, horse breeder, veterinarians included, um, then I think the review article that the horse has put together on this disease is a very good starting point. It answers many of the commonly uh, posed questions with regard to the disease, diagnosis, treatment, and so on. Great. Thank you so much, Dr. Timoney. Oh, you're welcome. You can also visit thehorse.com for updates to the news story as the situation continues to develop.